What's up, guys? Michael Sawolf here for an episode of Health Wolf. So today we're going to be covering two new key components to health. Nutrition and exercise. So in case you guys don't know, nutrition and exercise are very important in health. I even got a little bit in the tab here called Basic Life here. In my little medical books I've written myself. So alright, so we're going we're gonna to be covering some topics in this book. I wrote this entire one myself, even though it's a little bit outdated. But other courses that I wanted to cover include pharm like pharmacy stuff, which is a little bit hard because you know we're gonna count over the covered that one a little bit, covered a little bit of that um drugs and alcohol in my, one of my other health world videos. So there's a lot of things here, including we might get through a little bit of earth science as extras. We can even learn about observing patients. Alright guys, so let's cover up the first portion of it. <laughs> also, we're going to cover puberty. Alright, now let's get on to the first tab. Basic life. Alright, so you know our body, we depend on the food we need to survive. And because it gives us energy. It's even on the first chapter here. Alright, so according to my notes, our body depends on food for energy. Digestion is also the process of breaking down food molecules the cells can absorb. So we know that cells need food, right? But they need oxygen as well. And we know the oxygen we breathe in comes from plants. So we gotta give them oxygen too, but nutrition is also important. So if you want to help your cells, like nurture them, there's some ads on the internet you can find. There's a lot more of this health stuff that the health wolf cannot cover. But anyway, you know our heart, right? So according to here, we need exercise too. So exercise keeps the heart, the heart, the it keeps the thing big and strong. Like we have a tube. Keeps them big and strong by exercising. So other ways you can exercise. So you guys can do jump, you can do jogging, push-ups. I could do up to four at a time. You can do sit-ups, which is why I got a little bit of a six-pack. Anyway, that's not all our, our body needs for exercise. So one of my other topics from Ask Star Wolf, a person asks about how can we get a healthy body? So another option, so let's say, let me pull up the question from the Ask Star Wolf. Alright, I'm on the wrong one. Alright, here we go, Q&A series. Let me see if I can pull it up. Alright, this is one of them. Uh, Alright, so from Casey Swanson, he actually said, How can I have a healthy body image? So this is one of them. So exercise is also important, but also is nutrition, because without food, you won't have the energy you need to exercise. So we need six main nutrients, carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, and last but not least, water. This is my second one today. So you need at least eight glasses of water. You can also drink bottles. All right, so according to the Food Guide Pyramid, we need grains like 6 to 11, unless you're gluten free. So if you guys can't handle gluten, you can skip grains, but unless you can find some grains that don't have gluten. But grains are the most important things of your body. You need 6 to 11 servings of these. I recommend you get at least like 6 or 7 of them. You also need 3 to 5 servings of veggies, because I know veggies aren't part of me. Veggies that you can eat include carrots, you can eat carrots, spinach, Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and you also need two to four servings of fruit, which include apples, tomatoes that have been proven to be a fruit because they got seeds, raspberries, strawberries, bananas. Bananas have potassium, which is also an element. Don't forget dairy, you guys gotta have some dairy. Dairy can come in a lot of ways, like like cheese, ice cream comes with dairy, and there's a lot you could try, like, there's even milk. I know me, I don't really like milk, but I like chocolate milk. 
You need you also gotta have some servings of that too. If you guys can't have meat or if you're a vegetarian, try having a meat alternative. Like try those impossible lobs from Burger King. Like it's totally tastes like meat, but it's all vegan. And you should always limit your fats too. So like sweets, so you might want to limit the stuff you can have. So don't eat so don't include cake or cookies or ice cream or um Anything sugary in your normal diet, like, have those, like, sparingly, or, like, unlimited amount, like, limit them. So, there's also some exercise you could try. I also have a low section on exercise. So, to keep our body healthy, we must also exercise, because, you know, exercise is also reduced heart attacks by keeping the blood vessels open wide. The physical activity pyramid was created to help plan your exercise routine. The ones on the bottom show that what well, you should exercise most to keep the heart healthy. So you should, there's some lifestyle like doing chores or yard work. Those are some. So those are like lifestyle. You should do those all the time. Hint: sleeping is not an exercise. You should do some aerobic exercise like three six times a day. Flexibility and strength like lifting weights, and the most important thing, rest, like exercise. Rest is also important in exercise and just don't rest too much or exercise too much. Like if you lift weights, like nothing but lift weights all day, you could like pop a blood, you could pop a muscle. Anyway guys, that's all for today if you guys enjoyed this video. In the next health world, we will also cover puberty. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye guys.